today's lesson, showing value through cross-hatching. Cross-hatching, to mark or shade with two or more intersecting series of parallel lines. As we begin cross-hatching, it's important to note that the closer your lines are together and the more lines intersect with one another, the darker it will appear to be. So if we want something to appear really dark on our value scale, we have to continue to layer a series of parallel lines closely together, intersecting one another, going back and forth in a repeated motion. The more lines that we put in the first box of our value scale, the darker it will appear to be. The least amount of lines that we put intersecting one another, the lighter it will appear to be. So we want to make sure that every single line that we put, we put with intention based off of the amount of value we want to portray in our work. Value has the tone of light to dark. So anytime we're thinking about the lightness or darkness of a color, the lightness or darkness of a scale, we want to think about how many lines we're putting as it pertains to value. When using value to showcase the form of an object or a subject, it is important that we know where our light source is coming from. Based off of where our light source is coming from, we're able to identify where shadows will be, where we'll have a hard shadow, where we'll have reflected shadows, soft shadows, so on and so forth. So it's important for us to be able to identify the light source because it will tell us where the lightest area of our object will fall and where to add in our darker shadows. Here we're working on a sphere where we're able to see the hard shadow, the light shadow, and, and the shadows that fall in between. We see reflected light fall into the sphere and we see the sphere begin to take on more of a form using the technique of hatching. It's also important to note that as you begin to hatch, you can also use the lines to emphasize the shape of the form. As you can see here, I'm using the lines in a curved motion parallel to one another to emphasize the shape of the sphere.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.